One thing that causes a lot of headaches for people who started implementing dynamic visual titles or expression-based titles in Power BI is the inability to select items on the visual and see those titles updated. In other words, a selection made on the source visual only filters data on other visuals. This is a known limitation, even if it is not listed on any of the Microsoft Learn sites currently. So today, I'll explain to you what's causing this behavior and how to overcome this limitation. Let's start with the intro. Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm here to guide you through the world of Power BI. If this is your first time around here, then please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. By doing so, you won't miss any of my Power BI videos. It means a lot to me and helps others to find content like this. I could talk heaps more about the problem, but instead, let's get started quickly by showing you in Power BI Desktop what today's tutorial is all about. Over to my machine. For simplicity's sake, I have a simple model containing 12 records. One for the first day of each month in 2024, with the number 10 assigned to each day. Today we focus on the visual interaction problem, not data visualization. This means I'm only going to create a cluster column chart. Add the date to the x-axis with only the month name in it. And the sum of the value to the y-axis. Now we can work on a dynamic title, dex measure. Let's say I want to see the time frame based on the selection. The dex code is going to be relatively easy to write. I'm going to look for a start date, which will be the minimum of the date column, and an end date, which will be the maximum of the date column. Once I have those, I want the title to show time frame, followed by the min date, a dash, and then the max date. For good measure, pun intended, format these date fields as day, month, year. Great, now let's test this out. I'm going to drop this measure onto our canvas and turn it into a card visual. By default, we have the 1st of January until the 1st of December 2024 highlighted. And if I select the January to March period, our card will show the dates included. So the measure works fine. Time to add this measure as a dynamic title or expression based title to our visual. And now let's select January to March again. Hold on, what's going on? We use the same measure in the column chart and in the card visual, yet they show different results. There are no other selection or filters applied other than the selection made on this visual. So let's have a look at what's going under the hood to understand this strange behavior. To fully understand what's happening when we make a selection on the visual, allow me to open the Performance Analyzer tab. First, I'm going to start recording and hit Refresh Visuals. With this, you can see that both visuals were refreshed as there are a couple of actions listed under the column chart visual and under the card visual as well. However, watch what happens when I select the January to March time period on my column chart. A cross highlighted action pops up with only the card visual showing queries. In other words, the highlight or selection on the column visual doesn't trigger any queries on itself. To make it more obvious, let me remove the card visual and repeat this test. The visual is refreshed and queries are triggered. However, if I start making selections on the column chart, no queries are created. What does this mean for us? It means that if your users are likely to interact with the visuals and certain visuals have a dynamic title that could be affected by changes made on the visual itself, you have no other options than to break up the visual and the dynamic title into two separate visual elements. This means that if I remove the dynamic title from my column chart and add a card back to the report page, I can guarantee that users will never be confused about the title. We won't have to worry about them flagging that something is wrong with the visual. Just like this.
Mel, first of all, you did great today, staying till the very last bit. Don't get me wrong, I love the fact that we can dynamically change visual titles based on user selection. However, in this particular scenario, we have to be cautious about this important limitation. As I mentioned previously, a quick fix would be to use a dedicated card visual rather than a title or subtitle should to show the time frame user selected. Before I started recording this tutorial, I spent some time looking at the official Microsoft documentation on this particular limitation. I was trying to find a page that I could add to the description box below. I assumed it would be mentioned either under the filters and highlights section or the expression based title section. However, there are currently no learned pages flagging this information. So I hope my video helps clarify something you might have come across previously. If you have any questions or comments on this topic, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I try my best to answer them as quickly as possible. Thanks for staying till the end. I hope you learned something new today. If that's the case, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, check out these tutorials to take your Power BI journey to the next stage. Until the next one, see ya!